I'm so fortunate that Harriet had such a wonderful start with her owner and breeder, Lisa and Dusty. When I got her, she had great barn manners and was already established under saddle, so I was able to get started with her. I started her on the rope. I started her on the flat, teaching her just the yields and then getting used to the flag that it's just a tool and nothing to be scared of. And once she was established with all of that, I started to teach her how to jump. I think teaching them how to jump on the rope is a nice way for them to learn what their instincts are, figure out their shape, and no pressure of the rider and no interference of the rider. Harriet took to the jumping very well. She's very confident in it. And I've been able to take her and do a little bit of cross country on the rope as well. This is one of my first rides with Harriet. I start her just in the rope halter since that was a communication I've already established on the ground. Dusty had told me that she was quite fussy in the bridle, so I tried to break it down for her and start her with just the rope halter and then add the bit without reins and then add a rein to make it a double bridle. And then I eventually got her now. She just rides in a bridle. This was an easy way for me to eliminate the nose flipping with the communication of the rope halter and she could trust the bit. Harriet was a very simple horse to get started. Thank you to Dusty. She was a little nervous at the mounting block. I simply just broke it down for her and got on and off of her multiple times. And I also gave her a cookie each time she stood and that quickly resolved it. She no longer is agitated at the mounting block. I do a lot of hacking with Harriet. She'd done a lot of that with Dusty, and you can tell. I take her through the water jump and start to exposure to different things that she'll see on cross country when she's ready. This is Harriet a couple of weeks into her training. She no longer needs the rope halter, and she's able to trust the hand. I'm just teaching her to be forward and start to move off of my leg. I like to do a lot of her flat work on the hills as well to get her strength and keep it interesting for her. I don't just leave her in the ring all of the time. She's been a very quick learner so far. As she's learning to canter and carry me, I just stay a bit off of her back. I try not to put too much pressure on and just gradually introduce that line to them. She has a natural, easy balance. I think it'll be easy to develop her canter further soon. She's a very willing horse. This was her first time jumping under saddle. She wasn't quite sure what she was doing or where she was going, but she was very willing to answer the question to me for me. Even though this is her first time jumping, she'd seen all of these jumps and done it all on the rope. So I think she was further along because of that. I found Harriet to be a pretty brave horse. She did her first Liverpool and plank and she was very straight and forward for me. I like that Harriet tends to land in a nice balanced canter, not rushed. It makes me think she's not anxious to jump. She's enjoying her job. I'm excited to keep going with Harriet these next couple weeks and keep progressing with her. A huge thank you to Lisa and Dusty for getting her to this point. She's been a pleasure to work with. 
I think she'll take to the job of eventing quite well.